most people think they are in control of the information they watch, but actually the algorithm is very efficient. The AI already has a huge impact. For the first time in history, we are able to create tools that are smarter than us. We are going to make this decision now. Fox News has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. In the week or so since the election, there has been mounting criticism of whether Facebook and Google used enough editorial responsibility in screening out fake news sites. It turns out that a hundred different sites came from teenagers in one small Macedonian town who were looking to make money online and found that the best way to generate shares on Facebook is to publish sensationalist and often false content that caters to Trump supporters. The leading fake news site had only been registered months before and its top four fake stories got more Facebook engagement than the top four election stories from the Washington Post. In Macedonia, we have a lot of young IT skilled people who are actually working from their houses, from their homes, offering different sorts of IT services to foreign companies. Some of my first students were young guys from Uveles. I had several students that were very successful with political websites. And some of the students were earning more than $50,000, $60,000 per month. Our mainstream media has been deteriorating for over a decade. Young people from Veles were being raised in an atmosphere of fake news. The mechanism was that they were sharing constantly 24-7. So it's like a machine. You had a post that would get up to 350,000 page views for only five days. Facebook groups dedicated to Donald Trump, to the Republican Party, are huge. And they started sharing their stories in those Facebook groups, getting more traffic. So it all grew from there. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. When you say something very divisive, it's actually very efficient to attract attention. They attempted to create websites that appeared as bona fide news media. They published news stories, and they noticed that they received the most traction if they engaged in conservative conspiracy theories. And they made a buck off of our broken campaign system. People here weren't that focused on selling lies. They were just focused on making more money. Social media confirms existing biases. If you want to believe something, your Facebook feed will give you news that confirms your beliefs. Letting algorithm being in control of the information that we see is putting us in a dark age. What we saw in the 2016 election, that's been a microcosm of what's happening globally. There's an all-out assault on traditional rules of journalism. I think people can't even determine what is original journalism anymore?